We are good to go. Those words from the CEO of Memphis in May tonight. And Joe, the lineup for this year's Beale Street Music Festival dropped today. So does this mean Memphis in May signed a lease agreement with Memphis River Parks Partnership to return to Tom Lee Park? Let's go live now to Action News 5's Joyce Peterson for the answer, Joyce, to this $20 million question. In a word, no. There's still no lease agreement between Memphis in May and Memphis River Parks partnership tonight. Now, while the two sides work out that final last issue, get ready to get your groove on in Tom Lee Park because this is where Music Fest will take place in a shiny, new, albeit still very much a work in progress, Tom Lee Park. You know, that's not the only new thing you're going to see at Music Fest this year. Quite honestly, five months ago, I wasn't sure we were going to be back. Memphis in May CEO Jim Holt announced Monday the Lumineers, Greta Van Fleet, Robert Plant and Allison Krauss, along with Earth, Wind and Fire, all headlining this year's Beale Street Music Festival. The biggest party on the mighty Mississippi runs May 5th through the 7th in the newly remodeled Tom Lee Park, which is still under construction. Oh, it's so exciting that we're going to be back in our home in 67 days in Tom Lee Park. So we're so excited to be going back home. We've lost about 40% of of the space that we typically would utilize for the festival and that's going to cause a reduction in the capacity for the music festival. New park layout this year and new art. Local artist Danny Broadway created the 2023 Commemorative Music Fest poster. Memphis in May's longtime art collaborator George Hunt passed away in 2020. He was just such a nice uh, uh, representation of what an artist should be in my mind. Broadway says Hunt was a mentor to him. The two shared gallery space together. Broadway's artwork for Music Fest designed to evoke emotion in this season of our city. The image in my mind represents something very positive, something that's needed for Memphis, something that has uh, a healing quality and then I hope it will be translated that way. One little hitch. Memphis in May and Memphis River Parks Partnership still need to ink a deal on the Tom Lee Park lease agreement. Yes, I've got I've got an agreement sitting in my office and just waiting for a, a clarification from the city on one issue, but I have a signed contract from the MRPP president. So we're we're good to go. We are good to go. You heard Jim Holt say it there. Now, because of space limitations at the remodeled Tom Lee Park, the ever popular blues tent during Music Fest will be on Beale Street at Handy Park. The really cool part, admission will be free at the blues tent on Beale Street, not at Tom Lee Park. Reporting live in downtown Memphis tonight, I'm Joyce Peterson, Action News 5.